All right, 2020 has come to a close. Wow, time goes by fast. And as I did last year, this year I have a bloopers video of all the times I messed up while recording my videos. Now, this year had six videos for AB Media. There were four for the programming video series, plus a re-record of episode 0 and 1, a C++ video, and a Java video. I know there haven't been many videos this year, and that's because I've been very busy with loads of other stuff, both personally and programming-wise too. However, at the moment, I am actually planning and preparing two new videos for 2021. Episode 17 of the video series, as well as a new series about PowerShell, the latter I'm pretty excited about. The PowerShell video is actually all recorded, it just needs editing, and episode 17 is nearing completion on the script. As it has been for the past four months. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, enough of me rambling on about the future of the channel. Let's sit back and see me mess up some stuff. Why do I do this? Oh, okay, so volumes are uh, volumes looking good. I mean, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's what I like. Right, let us take our screenshots of the day. Good. We've taken our screenshots of the day. Alright, let's go. Oh, here we go again. With reference types. Okay, so now we make these arrays. By the way, we are screen recording. Oh, yeah, we are. Wow, what an advancement. <laughs> we'll change the third item on B to an exclamation mark. That's, that's not an exclamation mark at all. We'll change... We'll change... We'll change the third item on B to an ex... I did it again. How? How? Set it. Change it. Set it, change, set it, change something about it, whatever, set it, change something about, let's put an exclamation mark in the array, let's put an exclamation mark in the array, did it again. Now, in some situations, we would need to run the continual break. So, for something like this, I would make it return a boolean saying whether it was successful or not. So, true means it succeeded, and false means it failed. Then, whoever is calling just puts that into a variable. And if it's false, so if what they entered wasn't valid, it jumps. And if it's false, okay, I messed all of that up. All of it. Every single speck of it we messed up. Now, in some situations, we would need to run the continual break. So, for something like this, I would make it return a boolean saying whether it was... God damn it. So, what we need to do is we need to go through each item in this array and check if it matches what we're looking... What, what, what is this? They're probably on the same key as the squirrely brace. No, I said it wrong. And when we make that array, whoops, when you try to do the, when you try to do the, now, unfortunately, as I mentioned before, as I mentioned before, there's a fail self, a fail self. Now, just as a little bonus thing, if you remember back to episode 11 where I gave you the tips, let's use var here. And that means if we wanted to make an array of integers, we can just write int here, and we don't have to change it here and here. Can I actually check? Did I actually... Did I actually do that in episode 11? I need to make sure that, you know, I actually did that in episode 11. Let's take a little look. It's wrong one. It's wrong year. It's the wrong year. Do I so actually mention that? I don't think I mentioned no that. So if I hmm. Have, we'll be outside Interesting, both. I never covered that. Be in a, different place on your keyboard, particularly a lot of people said they had trouble seeing this. I'm sorry about that. Reasons. Well, in that case, I suppose I'll just leave that out, because this video is really long. Alright, the next step is to loop five times, just as I demonstrated a moment ago. Oh my god, come on. Alright, the next step is to loop five... Really? Oh my goodness me, I keep pressing page down instead of end. Great, now the final part is to actually print out all of the items in the array. This time, we could just use less than 5, but how about instead of- Okay, let me redo that, I want to go a little bit quicker, because this video is really long. Alright, we'll get back to working with- No, we won't. So like, I did- 
So like if I don't know how so if I don't know in it so like if I don't know in advance how many uh, I need to adjust this bit of the script look uh, my recording setup this is this is me right now this is where this is what I'm doing right now this is my recording setup right now a picture from just a little bit earlier alright I need to adjust this bit of the script so it just says uh, I need to turn on hey there I am on my surface I can see myself okay hey look there's my surface there anyway whatever so uh, yeah I need to change this so here's what will happen um, Okay, it looks pretty good. So if I say add, then it will let me add another item like that. Cool. Okay, now we need to check what they've entered using some selection to avoid, um, and, uh, uh, right, finally we're here in the code. Now, now we can use, now we can use, now we can use system dot, now we can use system dot, oh god, now we can use system dot, no, come on. If I make class A, and class B. Oh wait, actually, I need to actually do this. Jeez. Wait, the background. Oh no, listen, listen, listen. I have to set this background. Unfortunately, the background is. Uh, okay, do you know what? I'm going to do this on camera because I, I. Do you know what? We need a good background. Okay, we need to have matching backgrounds. So that way, I can do some of the slickest transitions you've ever seen in your life. The only way I can do that is if I have the background. So. Let's see if we can work this out. Perfect. I think the easiest way, and I know literally the easiest way, is depressing, is to upload it to my website. So, let's do that. Now I can download it and set it in here. This is the strangest hacked way of doing it ever, but we're going to do it. It's about to happen. ml slash shrug slash 15.png All the distances. The distances. What you'll end up downloading from the... What what you will end up downloading? What you'll end up that? What you'll end up? <laughs> Good, we're done in here again. Well, for now. Now I'm going to go into my Linux machine. Whoops. Pop filter. Don't do that. Oh, I don't like the look of that. Maybe that was because I messed something up. Did I maybe not shut down the virtual machine? Because I, the reason I don't like to look at that is because this is actually dual booted. This part it. This <laughs> this installation is dual booted with my Windows installation. So if it has errors, oh, I'm concerned. Okay, here we are. Hello everyone, a peekaboo. Right, let's set the background. Actually, the background will just set itself. I mean, it won't set itself, but it, it's already pre-configured, so I can just choose it. Maybe, or maybe not. What well, it maybe not? No, there it is right there. There you go. Beautiful, I can't even see it, but I'm sure it's there. There it is. Oh, oh, everyone's flickering. Okay, good. Ah, yeah, the launch pad is not happy at all. Wait, so it has to be manually. Oh, God, it's trying to do the animation. My God. Wow, look at a CRT monitor. <laughs> look at this performance in this virtual machine. Wow. Instant when it leaves the launcher. The launcher just lags the whole virtual machine out for some reason. Okay. Right, now uh, I just realised, and I realised it's actually a while back, I didn't say anything. Good God, I've been going for an hour. Uh, that I need to make a change. Again, I can't just need my changes, you know? I love my script changes. I mean, I, I forgot to mention something. I didn't even do an ending or anything. That's just, that's just a name. That's, that's just a name. To return hello world, we literally write the word return, followed by a space, and what exactly we want to return. So we just want to return the string, hello world. Oh my god, I spelt it. I didn't even look at the screen, I was just staring at the script, I wasn't even paying attention. To return hello world, we literally write the word return, oh my goodness me, come on, come on. <laughs> just simple stuff. To return... To return hello world, we lit- No, voice quote. Fun fact, it's boiling hot, and I've got to record 14 and 15 together. It's gonna be a fun night. Anyway, let's, let's keep moving. Is this actually gonna make it into the Bleepers video? Like, seriously, what's, what's the point? Since that's what- Since that what we're- Since that's what- Since that's what- <laughs> Yeah, I was messed up in the script. Hmm. Interesting, this needs some adjustments. Look, exclusive script adjusting. Uh, Alright, let's take a look. Auto save on. Give me auto save. 
Uh, I want to actually look. I think we have the script. No, we don't have the script up. Look, this is A B A B A B uh, a, a script adjusting. <laughs> a B script adjusting. That's right. Turn on turn on that. Okay. Give you. I just want to change this a little bit. <laughs> the name is going to be a string of claws. Of claws. Yeah, that's right. So each classroom will have a name. So each classroom will have a stop. So each classroom will have a name. Gosh damn it. That means that any that means that any time that means that any time we try to use one of these lists, we're going to get a null reference exception. And here C sharp doesn't stop us from doing this. There's no How did I do that? Same goes. Same goes. Same goes for every same goes for it. Same goes for if we want to call another method. Same goes for if we want to call another method we added. Same goes for if... Same goes for if we want to call... Same go... Same... Same goes if we... Same goes if we want to call another... And all I'm... And all I'm... And all I'm gonna do... So when we dereferenced it... And incremented... A by 1... No. Now... Let's put our mouse over B and... Whoa! And the... Now, well, I actually can't spell eighth. That's embarrassing. Eighth. It is eighth. All right, I'm just going mad then. In that case, oh, I'm recording. I was looking good. All right, good. Great. Let's say I now made a method. No, wait. What? What am I on about? <laughs> I already did that. Now look at what's happening here. I am now giving my class an entire copy of my. No, for what? Right, and now I've got my method. Right, and now I've got my method here that takes in. Ah, uh, not pointer. Uh, which might be a bit confused. The stack is exactly what it says it is. It's a bunch of items all stacked on top of one another. One another. What? I need to get another drink. I'm a thirsty person. So now. <coughs> I need to get a drink again. So you can't clut. So you can't cast this cl So you can't cast this. So you can't cast this class to this class. So you can't cl. So you can't cast this class to this class. So you can't cast this class. The PowerShell video is all recorded. The the PowerShell video is actually the PowerShell video is actually all recorded. It just needs editing, and episode seventeen is nearing completion on the script however at the moment i am actually planning however at the moment i am now i don't really like this this is bad design because by the name end you would assume that the last thing it prints out would be 10. so if someone else comes in to work on your project and obviously it's way bigger than this they might use this method in some other piece of code in your project where they need to do this and based on this parameter name they'll assume that it's going to include 10 because it says end but it isn't it doesn't actually print the end it prints all the way up to the number before end so it might be better to make it include the end by changing it to less than or equal to like this just an idea